Hello Aquarius, this is my lady from my lady's weights here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 30th through November 6, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Love reading October 30th through November 6th, 2017. What's going on with the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, so it seems like some of you guys are starting to look at things for what they are. Yeah, you're um, not overlooking things anymore right now. All right, so it seems like somebody may be giving you gifts or you might be giving gifts. Okay. Or somebody is just not looking at what you're doing for them. They're not looking at what you're doing for them. That's what's going on here. You're giving and giving and giving. They're not looking at it like that. And it's starting to be emotionally draining because you keep doing for this person and they're not looking at it for what it is. Okay. So that's why um, this person doesn't love you like you love them. Okay. Right, wow, this person isn't even thinking two thoughts about what's going on. So it seems like you're starting to realize what's going on in this situation. You're doing is going above and beyond for somebody and it's becoming emotionally a draining because they don't care about you. They don't think about what's going on with you. And it seems like you might be getting ready to come out of your head about this situation because you, you know that they don't love you because of their actions, okay? All right, so this is sacrifice. Um, you really care about this person. You really love them, but you know you got to give them up because they they stressing you out, but you like, you're letting go of it. You're letting go, okay? So it seems like you might have been warning them, like, hey, you know, I don't like the way you're treating me. I don't like the way you're talking to me, and they're not, you know, doing anything about it because they don't care. They're getting what they want, you know? And now it seems like you're going to start doing, you're going to start putting actions to your words now. Wow. Okay, so it seems like this person is not um, sexually attracted to you anymore. Okay, but this could be the other way around. Somebody could feel this. You could feel this about somebody else. Okay. All right. Okay, so yeah, it seems like somebody might have secretly went back to somebody that they was dealing with in the past. Or somebody is secretly trying to came, come back to you or came back to you with these hidden hidden agendas, hidden motives. All right, what's going on with the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius love reading no, October 30th through November 6th. Somebody is being patient, trying to wait for um, this person to see that you're a good person. You've been patiently waiting to see what's going on. But it's like this person is just not getting it. All right, what's going on with the Aquarius? Love reading 1030, 1033, 11, 6, 2017. I feel like somebody's getting ready to put somebody out. <laughs> All right, so yeah, somebody is definitely, um, they sad because of a loss. You know, they got to give up somebody that they love because they're not being loved. All right, yeah, sending them false um, fake love offers, trying to act like that they want to be with you just um, to get what they want. Could be a um, water sign, I guess, that wants to go there. Yeah, you picking up and leaving. You can't deal with it no more. You can't deal with it no more. Yeah, there it is. You, you picking up and leaving. All right, so first we have the five of cups. Five of Cups, Five of Cups. All right, Five of Cups says, a loss of some kind is indicated. 
the realization that something which was believed in was not true or real. Tendencies of drug and alcohol use. Yeah, um, seemed like you were taking this stuff hard at first, but I feel like you're starting to get out of this, this, um, a mental dilemma. All right. So we got the page of cups also. And it is reversed. It says manipulator, insecure, usury, uh, illusion, and escape. Fantasy and unrealistic hopes are constant, often seeking seeking short-lived escapes. So it seems like this person been manipulating you, and you've been taking it. Like, okay, I'm going to take this, you know, give me chance after chance after chance. And now you're like, oh, no more chances. I'm done. You can get out of here. All right. So we got the Ten of Staffs reverse. All right, so the Ten of Staffs. Um, the Ten of Staffs says emotional drama, drama, difficulties, intrigues, and deception. So it's like, it's just too much going on. All the drama. All the lies, all the trickery, the manipulation. I think that's the biggest issue here. And you're just like, I, I don't want this. I want out. Somebody wants out. All right. So now the last card is the two of staffs. It says, take time to reflect upon your choices before making a decision. Consider where you are and how, you, how it relates to your past. So it's basically like right now you like coming out of the point where you're depressed about the situation and you're going to do something about it. So it's like right now you're like, okay, I'm strong enough. Do I want to sit around and deal with this situation uh, head on or do I want to just turn around and walk away? But that's up to you and that's all I have. So make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.